So now in recent videos we made some emitter followers with op amps and I just wanted to uh, remind everybody you can easily make one with a, a transistor. So this is an NPN bipolar junction transistor, the 2N2222A. So it's the same as a 2N2222 but it is slightly enhanced. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, trim pot here and we have about 10 volts at the rail as you can see there so it looks like 10 volts pretty much spot on and I am going to set this trim pot to 5.6 volts and it should be 0 volts because it's at the negative rail there and uh, so we can adjust this And uh, there we go. So we're going to adjust this to about uh, 5. Point, try not to block that. To about 5.6 volts. And the reason why is because we're going to have a transistor amplifying in a little bit, and it's going to drop about 0.6 volts. So there we go. That's close enough. 5.6 <clears throat> and a little bit more so any case we have that voltage now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to light an LED directly from that so let's uh, zoom in here and so we have the output of the uh, trim pot right there you can see that this yellow jumper is one row above it so we'll be using that later it's not connected to the output there and we're gonna put a 220 ohm resistor there and uh, one row above that gray jumper so we're at the output of the trim pot and then one row above that gray jumper the board's trying to push the uh, trim pot out and we're going to plug an LED in there and so the long lead the anode towards the trim pot because it's more positive than this jumper there which goes to the negative rail short lead the cathode to the negative rail and the LED is lit the LED is not lit uh, terribly bright and so not as bright as it should be for 5 volts so let's zoom back and now let's take a measurement at the output again we can go to the resistor because it comes to the output and then to the side of the dial so you can see now we have two point about 2 volts coming out of the output and it shouldn't be like that it should be 5 volts there you go so 2.1 volts it's supposed to be 5 volts so what we're going to do is we're going to use a transistor to actually amplify the amount of current that the voltage can provide because that's the problem we have a 10,000 ohm resistor here and a 220 ohm resistor setting the current for the LED so our variable voltage source has high impedance which is any kind of resistance and uh, so it has high impedance so it can't provide much current and hold a voltage as we saw so we're gonna pop out the uh, LED and the resistor to begin with and this is a really simple circuit to wire up so this is the as I said before the 2N2222 NPN bipolar junction transistor the most well-known one and so flat side looking at us the left pin is the emitter middle pin is the base and right pin is the collector and so for this one you always want the collector more positive than the emitter and we're gonna do that by turning it this way putting the collector directly to the rail here that goes to the jumper that goes to the positive rail the middle pin the base we're going to give our signal right there and then the emitter will be down one row on its own row right there so that's how, how we have it wired up right there and of course for all transistors make sure you look up the data sheet take the part number look up the data sheet make sure you got the right pin layout and you don't use too much voltage too much current or whatnot so this is very low current and power as far as this transistor is concerned so now we're gonna come to the emitter with uh, this resistor 
and go one row up and leave uh, room for an LED. So I'm going to slide that over there. There you go. And uh, so we got the 220 ohm resistor and the LED. We're going to add again line lead towards the uh, transistor, line lead anode, short lead cathode to the negative rail. And you should see the LED is quite a bit brighter. And let's try to set this up so we can see the pins and come back to the multimeter. So now we're going to go to where the resistor is and then the uh, negative side of the LED. You can see it's 4.8 volts so it's almost the 5 volts. We have the diode drop of uh, the base 2 emitter transistor. So using the NPN bipolar junction transistor you get the voltage out but minus about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. Now it's probably going to improve this a little bit to add a resistor that goes directly to the negative rail because we do have the voltage drop of the LED and stuff but uh, as we saw it was pretty much spot on 5 volts so let's see if we got a little bit more voltage there and uh, no, it looks like it's about the same so for this particular circuit we don't need uh, this resistor from the emitter to uh, ground but I see that uh, commonly and so uh, some circuits do depend on it I remember in the past I came across some but uh, sometimes you can get away without it so if you're not getting the full voltage across the load for whatever reason add a this is a 10 kilo ohm but uh, the Zach value doesn't matter just uh, make sure it's not getting too hot from too much uh, current going through it for a given voltage but uh, the Zach value doesn't really matter just so long as you have a resistor there so it has a path to ground but in any case this is a voltage follower when your signal cannot provide enough power to the load for whatever reason you can just use an NPN transistor as I showed here NPN being the uh, simplest most common one and uh, when the signal is more positive than your ground so in any case hopefully that made sense thanks for watching I will see you in the next video